Hey, hey, the Sagers, how you doing? Okay, uh, this week we are focusing on strange alien technologies and, well, specifically UFOs. But there is one uh, very strange, mysterious trip that we're going to take uh, later on that doesn't involve a UFO but involves some other kind of transport. But uh, more on that later. First of all, um, this is the, the UFO that I built over the weekend. I've been hankering to build one of these uh, for a long time now. But it's getting getting that nice, pleasing sort of 60s UFO profile was difficult, but not anymore because using the um, Precision Building Project 2 by ITR, I've learned you can you can place blocks in all sorts of crazy ways to very very exacting uh, dimensions and degrees. So it really is the whole thing was built just using that one mod, and the next creation you'll see as well was the same. So it flies like a dream. We should do it 600 blocks. It's really heavy. And it's got uh, a standard but compacted um, quadcopter uh, unit inside it. It's also got uh, some balloons up the top to help it sort of look like a UFO, and of course uh, to to keep the top from wobbling about too much. But it flies really well. Uh, I've got it. I've got the controls toned down a bit so that it's got a slick, slow sort of movement. But if you're downloading this, which you can. And please upvote it if you do, because it means a lot to me, as you know. Uh, if if you are downloading it and you want it to go faster, bank faster, whatever, just adjust the wheels underneath. That's all. This is one. That was one of the images. Um, oh, I wonder what would happen if a farmer uh, put down some crop circles on his farm to get publicity, and he accidentally stumbled upon a genuine intergalactic sign that said, "Please come and probe me." <laughs> You know, it could happen, it could happen. Trillion to one chance, but there's still an opportunity there for a giggle. So that's what happened to this guy. Uh, and again, I'm using Wang's uh, cloud and texture mod here, but more on that later. Okay. Okay, uh, onwards. So what we'll do now is we'll take a quick trip on this machine that I was telling you about, and then we will come back to the UFOs because I did shot a lot of different angles and footages of it, so I was quite obsessed with it. Um, so here we go. This uh, unassuming little character here is going down in an elevator, a very rubbish, ordinary elevator, as you see, nothing surprising yet. But uh, if you noticed already, we are going down below floor level because we are about to go into the underworld. Now, as you can see along that train quickly, I'll just say those ballasts are joined using the precision builder and they were joined exactly uh, like one half block apart from each other in a linear fashion. It took me a while to learn how to do that, but it's pretty damn cool. Anyway, the amazing twist, um, a couple of weeks ago, built a machine, a Securitron, from Fallout, and he was able to get it to stay upright by putting the stabilizers underneath the floor, which are a 10 block gap uh, between the ceiling and the floor. So I was astounded by this. I thought, okay, uh, I need to um, have a go at building something underneath and see how it looks. So it's been, it's been pretty great. You just, I've, I'm starting to see things that I just didn't realise about the underside of the sandbox. Um, it's, it's a pretty amazing place and you can build in it. It's just incredible. And the, all the physics is the same. So I've, I'm, going to, I'm going to build a few more things. I've got a few more ideas here. But uh, meanwhile, I just thought I would uh, put this train up and um, show you all the nice curves. You know, look at the wooden, the wooden surrounds there as well. They've all butted into each other, and they're all stable, and they were all done on uh, Precision Builder. So the whole thing was done using um, PVB. It's, um, it's a really superb mod, it really is. Anyway, it's nice to see the, uh, the underside of that. Like, like says, for instance, those graph pads, who knew that they were like icebergs? They're absolutely massive underneath, and yet it's just a single pad on top. Why are they like that? It's a great mystery, I don't know. Maybe someone will tell us. But it looks good. And uh, it was a lot of fun building under here. It's really simple. You build the thing above ground, and then you use the Editor Plus to drop it to its point at more than seven blocks below the floor. And that's it. As long as there's nothing stuck in between in, those, in that ten block gap, you're fine. You're good to go. So it couldn't be easier. So the thing is, we've all been using the sandbox for since forever. So it's nice to have another area that you can that you can play in. Like you can come down here and you can fly. Because I remember Algi, Algi was the first that I knew of to actually fly a quad right underneath the sandbox, and that got me going as well. I really wanted to try that. So now I'm the first person to drive a train under the sandbox. Literally. 
won't be the last, hopefully. Hopefully some other people will do some stuff down here as well. It's pretty damn cool. Really enjoyed it. I'll put this up for um, downloading, but it's 1800 blocks. It's a heavy beast, and so only the, the strongest computers are going to be able to handle it. Let's go back to the UFO for a while. And here he is. We're going to attempt some landings. Um, of course we are, because I always do. That's like the test of any good machine is whether you can get it down onto that platform or not. Nope. So uh, that was down to scale, that one, definitely. The controls are really simple um, for, th for this, you know, it's just standard pitch yaw and uh, elevation type controls, normal aviation controls. And then there's the one for the undercarriage, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, um, again, it's just the very, it's the profile of this thing that I like more than anything else. It's just so tight. Those blades are butted right up against those 45 degree angle blocks, you know, and they're absolutely perfect. It did it to like hundredths of a degree. Uh, this again, you can see, this is again using a precision block uh, placement. Those ballast, that was me doing it in a circular fashion. When you let it go, it becomes unstable. You have to pin it down to get it to sit. But I eventually learned how to do it in a linear fashion, and that's what the train was done with. So, I'm just waffling on here, because... Um, no doubt you're, you're um, just about had your fill of watching me trying to land this UFO here. But I, did, I got a few good ones in before I moved it over to Queens to have a bit of a larf, larf over there. And um, also does the clouds, you know, it's in the back. For those of you who don't know already, I'm sure everyone does. But there is a, a clouds and ground texture mod by Wang uh, over on the mod section at the forum. And uh, this is my first time using it and it's absolutely excellent. It really is, really cool. Okay, uh, the clouds are great. And that's how I put down the, uh, what you call them again? The crop circles earlier on as well. So that's what that was. So here we go. Another one. It's done in zero gravity. You just hit plus before the brace, and it just uh, it opens out like a flower like that. It's, it's pretty extraordinary. Even while you're building things, you, you, you discover other things, and you get sort of taken off on little tangents. Uh, uh, probably the best landing because I never touched the statue, and I managed to pick it back up again and whack him this time on the way out. So you're getting cocky now, getting good at it. Okay, there's, th there's four bombs on, on the, um, against the clouds, so it's fantastic. There's four bombs on it. I tried to, I wanted to put lasers on it. I had, I even had a probe on it, an alien probe. Um, but I took that off, it was causing it to wobble all over the place. But the bombs stayed on. One, two, three, and four releases the bombs. But I thought I would go over here and just destroy these guys, but I forgot that they bounce up and they hit the bombs every time. Plus the arrows are coming through the braces at the top, so... This is the, it's the shittest UFO ever. From a defensive point of view, it's just got... So you have to be careful. You have to zoom in, zoom out, get the job done. There's the probe again. But let's say the probe is not on the downloadable one. You can put that back on yourself if you want. Yeah, it was just a bit of fun. Uh, yeah. It's, it's not often you see a UFO with uh, arrows in it, is it? Or, or even a UFO made of wood for that instance, but there you go. So, um, yeah, I don't think any self-respecting alien uh, would be uh, seen flying around in a wooden UFO, especially if they want to keep things like bacteria away, which we know kills them. There you go, more arrows. Uh, so, I'm going to leave it there shortly, and um, thanks for watching. I wonder if you made it through this far with just like, non stop shots of me playing with my UFO. Uh, I do apologise for that, but I got carried away. Uh, it's great fun, and I will be making more UFOs because I've got a ton of ideas for the next gen of them. Um, if anyone else is up for it, let me know. Okay, so that's that. Um, I'll leave you with a couple of links and a couple of cloud shots, and we can uh, talk again next week. Oh, we will probably be putting out the the next fight, the next uh, the next BattleBots edition on Sunday, I hope. Um, so I've still got to film that, so we're just going to go ahead and get that done just now. But I'll leave you with this very strange looking snake. See you later. Bye.